Hey guys, welcome back. Tonight we have a lot of reveals and overall this is going to be a lot of fun because we have four new cards that OCG has been teasing for quite some time. We have the V-Jump promo that's coming out soon and we have these three wonderful cards from the Pharaonic Legend pack and let's see what they do. First off we have is this card right here this is Karudon the great sage it is a level four earth fairy effect and it's is interesting because it is he sees you support from dual monsters and when this card is summoned you can set one continuous spell from the your graveyard or hand to the field this set card or the card set by this effect can be activated this turn when this card is sent to the graveyard, face up trap cards you control cannot be destroyed by battle or destroyed by opponent's effects until the end of the turn. So this is just blanket protection for things like Eldritch. This is 100% Eldritch support because you could reset things like Conquistador, Hakero, or even Guardian, depending on what build you're playing. Next up, we have the cards from the Pharaonic Legends box. First off, we have Pharaonic Advent. It is a spellcaster effect with 2000, 2000, and it's a level 8. And you can only use the first and third effect once per turn of this card. First effect, tribute one monster you control. Special summon this card from your hand. Increase this card's attack by the number of continuous traps in both graveyards. <sighs> Times 300. You can tribute one fairy fiend reptile monster you control. Add one continuous trap card from your deck to your hand. For the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon monsters. So this card right here is one of those cards that really help out rogue strategies and other strategies like Eldritch. Because if you attribute a Fairy Fiend or Reptile, which I would have to say the Vernalizers, Medulches, or really anything, Dark Worlds, or even Audautix, you get a search of a free continuous trap card. So you get a search of a free Floodgate. This card is going to be pr problematic in the future. I can definitely see that but we don't know when the TCG is going to be getting it. Next up, we have Gravekeeper's Carved Seal. It is a normal spell card, and it has three effects that you can apply. At the beginning of your main phase one, you can apply one of the following effects until the end of the turn. No card can be activated in either graveyard. No card can be banished from either graveyard. No monster can be special summoned from either graveyard. So... It is an okay card. It is definitely interesting. I need to test around with it to see how it is because it definitely stops how the card is. And I'm just going to double check one thing with it because people said, oh, it might be until the end of the next turn, which is just till the end of the turn. So this stops things like hand traps and all of that. Overall, it's an interesting card. For trap card and finally the card I've been waiting for this is called the serpent of the swamp Apophis it is a continuous trap card with the stats of level 6 2000 2000 now during either player's main phase quick effect after this card is activated, it becomes a normal monster, Reptile, Earth, level 6, 2000, 2000. And special summon this card to a monster zone. This card is also treated as a trap card. Also, if you control other continuous trap cards, you could select a number of face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of continuous trap cards you control, negate their effects until the end of the turn. This card overall is very interesting. Apophis of the Swamp, or... It is Apophis, the deity of the swamp. It is a very interesting, interesting card. It is definitely Eldritch support. All this screams Eldritch outside of the monster of the first one that we covered. But I want to know what you guys think about these cards. I think they're really good, and I wonder what people can do with them in the future. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video, and goodbye.